Hello everyone, welcome back to the Art Cellar of Houston. Today we're going to make some pressed flower Chinese lanterns. My co-host, Panda Jet, will be joining us to show us how to do these creations. And by Jet, I mean three T's. Three T's? Mm-hmm, and no E at the end. Hmm, Panda Jet, very nice, okay. All right, let's get started. So I'm gonna put this down over here so you can see what we're doing. All right, we have, these are wax paper. Something you can get at the grocery store. Um, parchment paper, wax paper, you whatever just, you wanna call it. You just knocked them on my Oops, bar. so sorry. Um, the, I cut them, I just pulled it out and then ripped them off. So the size that you want is really up to you. You can make them 10 inches wide by 15 inches long. Um, or by I'm five inches long. Stick. We'll get some more, don't worry. Um, but the wax paper size depends on the, how tall you want your little Chinese lantern. Mm -hmm. So we started off there and then we folded them in half. So we actually have 10 inches wide by 15 inches long. We folded them in half. Mm -hmm. And then we put little sticks on the inside to help them stand up. If you don't have that's my missing stick. I yes. Think. If you don't have little sticks, it is totally okay. Um, you can do them with or without sticks. The tape will help it to stand up as well. So that's completely up to you. Ooh. Once you have your wax paper folded in half, then you are going to add your flowers to it and then iron them with an ironing uh, ironing board and an iron. Mm. So as you can see here, we have our tape our wax paper. We have some pressed flowers here and some sticks. Our ruler is down underneath this and we have some more pressed flowers over here. So now we folded our wax paper. We've put our sticks on the inside and we've added our flowers. Yes. Bunny ears. Bunny ears. <laughs> I have, so can I tell something? Yes, but I want to tell people real quick. I have four sides. And Panda Jet is only going to have three sides. Yes. So she's going to make a square and I will make a triangle. That's what I was going to tell them. Oh, yes. I'm going to make a square and then she's going to make a triangle. Because uh, my bedroom, um, these can go anywhere in their house. And in my bedroom, I'm going to put it there. And I really think my bedroom is square. No. I mean, not, I mean triangle. a triangle. I mean Got a triangle. It. So a triangle is going to be my theme. Okay. But I have one more thing to tell you. Okay, one more thing, go. And we are going to do one more video after this, if we have time. And we will be teaching you how to make a star with popsicle sticks. Oh, yes, excellent. Yes, we're definitely going to do that. And okay. you're going to need wax paper. So, so these are all items that you can use either in your home or in your backyard, which is what we're focusing on with this video. But, so how do you stuff in your, your that you already have rather than buying what you need? Yes. But in the star, you can use the star for a decoration on your wall, or you can poke a little hole and put um, a paper clip, like unfold a paper clip, and then you can poke a little hole, and then you can put the little the ending backwards, and then it will make a Christmas decoration. Well, we'll talk about that in the next video more. Yes. But right now, we're going to focus on these Chinese lanterns. Again. Yes, because we only have less than 15 minutes. Right? <laughs> okay, bye. Kids, make sure that your parents are doing the ironing. This is not something that you want to do at all. You want to have it on a low heat. If you have it too high, then it will melt the paper, number one, but it will also... Um, set off a fire. It will probably set off a and fire. And you might burn your whole house down. Hmm. And we don't want to do that. Yeah. So getting back to this, you can see whenever you, you iron, it starts to melt the paper to itself. So if you see little spotches that need a little bit more ironing, then just go back and do a second. But I'm moving the iron super quick. Iron straight, and I'm moving it quick. I'm not going slow at all. This is very important because um, it will stick to the iron. I have it on a very low heat, the lowest heat that I can do. I'm gonna do each piece, and I can see them melting the wax paper into one another. I'm gonna do it over the corner. And then whenever I'm done, I'm gonna take a look at it over the floor so I can see what the differences are. This video will be very short. Yeah, okay, so I see another little more here. 
Now we are going to put all the pieces together. We've ironed them completely and we're going to tape them together. Take a look down here and you can see I put one piece over the next piece and Uno, then, dos. yes, one piece over the next. So I'm gonna put together two pieces first and then I'm gonna put together the next two pieces. So I'm gonna take the tape. I'm going to tape one piece to the next. Yes. And then she's gonna keep taping them right here this. and here. Correct. So the same with hers. I also have to tape mine because I'm doing it too. So we will um tape it. And to let you know we have to tape it on the front and back. And you have to get all the spots. Can you give me the tape? Yes. Yes, you have to get all the spots, and you even have to tape the back in the exact same place that you taped it. Wouldn't be so hard. Uh, tape, okay. And, um... So, um, this is how you would do it, um... For the art project, this is the art project, the next part of the art project. And once you iron it, it's kind of like stuck to the paper. Thank you. So, um, yeah. And if it goes all the way up, you can also do this. Mm -hmm. And then put one right over this next yes. piece. Okay. Because you want it to be you want pretty to good. Tuck it under on the top and the bottom sides. Yeah, because you kind of don't want any mistakes, right? Well, it's okay if you make mistakes. We're okay with mistakes. Yeah. Okay, so do the next piece. Don't stay in the camera. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here's your other piece. Can't get it to line up good. You just put it on there, stick it to that side, and then you turn it over. And then now you're gonna once you're done with taping yes, those pieces, you can. We're gonna sh tell you that in a moment, but let us just finish taping these pieces because if you did a triangle. This. This so loud. Is, this is what you did with it. If you made a triangle, this was what it would look like at the end. And or that you can do that, or you can do that. That can be any way you'd like it. And it can also be a little house. Like you can put like pants inside, or you can put your dolls inside, mini dolls, and it could be a house for them. And you can also do this and like put things right there, and then do this. So it also has like a little flower and stuff. Uh, yeah, you can put things like inside there and then put this on top very gently and it would look like that. But I really like this one better. It looks really cool. I yes. Like you did. And when we are done, we're going to see hers. So I'm just going to give you a little um, thing on hide and seek. So, um, or how about you take a look at what I'm doing here so we can no. show them how we did yours. Yes, yeah, so we basically tape it. Yes, we tape it. Okay, so once we're done with that, remember we have to fold it. So we fold each yes. individual section to make sure they have a nice crisp line. Okay. I love how it looks. So um, we are continuing with our square. So basically, you put it down like flat where the sticky side is out. Then you put one side to it. Yes, you make put sure one it's side. sticking. Yes. Then yeah. you put this other side yes, straight, flat, straight flat and you fold the tape over. And that's yes. how you'll get those sides to merge together. Uh -huh. You want to make sure you push it down really hard so both sides get taped together. And show them what it would look like at the end. Well, hold on. First, I want to get a second layer of tape because I yes. see that this side needs a little bit more love. Yes. There, and I'll push this down. Now, I probably did a little too much tape for this, but that's okay. You don't have to make it perfect. All right, so we're gonna open this up. 
And our Chinese lantern is complete. So let's put them next to each other and put mm -hmm. them. You can put these in the window or you can have a little um, tea light on the inside. Make sure if you have a tea light, you are. So, a farewell goodbye. Thank you all for Adios, joining us. Amigos. <laughs> Thank you all for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed these Chinese lanterns. And if you have any questions while you're making these, feel free to reach out artsellerhouston at gmail.com yes, 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 or you can yes. always call us 832-596-7983. Thank you for joining us. Wait before you, thank you for joining us for mm -hmm. this video. But I need to tell you something. Okay, what are we going to talk about? So, on, um, if we get 28 views on this video, then we will do the hide and seek art challenge. Ooh. So, so let's try to get 28 of Subscribe to our channels. Yes. View our channels and help us do and these. And give us a thumbs up, please. Give us a thumbs up. Yes. We appreciate we, you guys. And if we have more than 28, then that's still okay. Just do 28, 28 okay. or more. 28 or more. Okay. So Sounds bye, good. Guys. See you soon. Thank you.